This one uh, was released on the CPS Dash, uh, which didn't have a lot of uh, games. A uh, couple of them are licensed, uh, such as the Punisher and the uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So this is the beat em up. Uh, and uh, it's a very, very good one. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people that have been in the arcades, it was a very popular one. And uh, we'll be going for what credit clear. Uh, so this one came out uh, in 93 and it was uh, basically a, a licensed product from uh, a, a, a comic book called uh, Xenozoic Tales. And then it uh, became actually uh, after that uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, it was rebranded. So yeah, typical Capcom beat em up. Very, very good. A lot of uh, quality stuff. So. We'll be choosing this character, Mustafa, because he's so good. And uh, since we'll be going for a 1cc, he's, in my opinion, the safest to go for 1cc. Mess is also good. Uh, the other characters are not bad, but obviously, uh, he, uh, Mustafa is our guy. And we're gonna go over why he's so good. This is why Mustafa is good. He has this move that is so OP. You can actually, uh, he has a lot of uh, priority, uh, big damage, and uh, you can just spam it. If you're a beginner, uh, just choose Mustafa. You're gonna have a way better time. Hey, thank you for the rain there, Kyoko Zanaji. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is uh, keep this uh, weapon. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the right weapon. So the weapon uh, drops, uh, most of them are, are fixed, but some of them, we get some RNG. So this weapon actually is a bit RNG, but it's okay, since it's the first stage, it's, it doesn't really matter. So this is the two-button game. So you have your jump, you have your, your, uh, your punch, and if you push uh, jump and punch at the same time, you have your uh, Super Joy, similar to Final Fight. What's good about this game is that you have a lot of mobility. Your character is very, very mobile. So you have your jump, uh, you have your your uh, your uh, run, and the way you run actually in this game, you keep running and uh, you go all the way. So when you when you run actually, you can keep running all the way from the left to the right. So this is the first boss. Uh, it's not very difficult. And he has a friend. Okay, so we dealt with the dinosaur. So now we just kind of have this boss. Uh, he's a bit tricky though. So the, his deal is that he's trying to outrange you all the time. We're gonna try to uh, loop him if possible. Most of the bosses don't have iframes on the wake up. Some of them have counter attacks. But most of them don't have actually iframes, so you can actually abuse the loops. Okay, we're gonna try to do a, a flash kick kill. So that's it. You have two move, uh, two buttons, but you have a lot of moves in this game. So this uh, move that we did, uh, it's down, up, and attack. It's a, uh, it's a very well known move in a lot of Capcom beat em ups. So it gives you actually uh, anti air abilities. You also have this uh, uh, jump. So when uh, the peak of your jump, when you press attack, you actually uh, can. Uh, can do a dive kick and dive kick is super super important okay so we gotta kill a... so the dinosaurs are are so when we have a dinosaur that is uh that is red uh, if you beat him uh they actually become friendly at some point so here we're gonna try not to wake up that dinosaur because uh, otherwise we'll have to fight him and ideally you don't wanna you don't wanna do that Yeah, so the reason why Mustafa is very, very good, I said pretty much because of the, of the uh, dropkick. But also he has very good hitboxes. He deals a lot of damage and he's very fast. 
So pretty much no weaknesses. So that's why he's pretty much beginner friendly. Pressing up, you throw to the side that you're facing. It's very important to, to keep that in mind because it's, uh, it could be useful. It's a very good tool to uh, to use uh, if you want to control the crowds. And this game is all about crowd control, especially during boss fights. I would say that, like mostly, uh, once you learn this game, the stages become relatively easy. And the biggest uh, hurdles are the boss fights. So this is pretty much like a boss uh, boss fight game once you learn how, how to actually uh, work with it. So here we have our uh, second boss. The Butcher. He can be tricky. But hopefully we can, uh, can just uh, deal with him uh, using the... Uh, using the weapons and we can loop him actually with that okay oh my god oh Okay, drop kick. Plan B. Plan B is the drop kick. Okay, yeah, thank you for the good luck, multi brother. Yeah, this uh, this game is uh, with Mustafa. Actually, he's the safest character, but the boss fights can be tricky because uh, they deal a lot of damage, and sometimes uh, it's hard to control because you have goons with you, and and. All the bosses actually have goons with them, so it's very difficult sometimes to deal with the goons and the boss at the same time. And uh, there are infinite spawns basically with the goons, so it's very hard to, to control everything. So that's why we, we tried as much as possible to loop the bosses. When we can, because that way we can actually deal a lot of damage to him. So stage 3, uh, in typical Capcom fashion, uh, stage is the, this is, uh, this is more sort of like a bonus stage where uh, we get to uh, drive a Cadillac and this is a boss uh, fight here with Hog, so you can, it's, it's relatively easy, you can just basically stay on the left and wait for him to uh, ram into you not a difficult fight once you know how to actually manipulate the AI. Just move up and down to the left, and stay up the left, up and down, and within 30 seconds he's dead. Yeah, very short stage. You can choose not to take the Cadillac, but the, the stage is very long and the, you get to fight a lot of enemies, so most of the time uh, it's pretty much uh, you want to take the Cadillac to, to get, get it over with. Yeah, this is the last game of the of the event, yes. Yeah. So we get to close it up with the, with the Capcom Classic. Alright, stage 4. This is this is the, where the game starts to pick up the difficulty. I would say if you... Back in the day in the arcades, uh, that was the stage that I used to game over on. Very... Uh, very difficult stage because of uh, one one uh, because of the boss the boss uh, slice uh, slice which we will meet later. Okay, we're gonna have this guy spawn. Okay, we're gonna take a pizza just for points. So if you full health. Uh, you, when you pick up a food, okay, 
okay this was good actually very very good okay this this part is, is uh, a bit tricky because you get to meet the mid boss now capcom loves to recycle bosses uh, so you get to meet the boss of the first stage right after right at the beginning of stage four so in the punch combo during the punch combo if you do if you you can actually have the the finisher when you throw and you do your flash kick you can finish it off with the with the with the with the flash kick so it deals a little bit more damage so this screen is a bit tricky yeah because you get to fight a lot of enemies very dangerous enemies Yeah, what I like about this game is, is the ability of it to, to actually give you a lot of freedom of movement. You never feel overwhelmed in this game when it comes to movement. Here we're gonna use a little strat here. Blow up everyone. And we get the first extend of the game. Well, the first extend is uh, at 500,000. This game gives you two extends on default difficulty. Uh, one at 500k and the second one at, at 1 million. Uh, we're gonna try to keep uh... okay these guys uh, are a bit tricky <laughs> usually they don't uh... they don't do that attack uh, that often okay first boss first gatekeeper of the game slice with mustafa you get to abuse this attack this we alternate between the uh, between the actual attack and uh, the uh... yeah that was good Oof. okay we can do this we can actually do this Okay, that was a scary fight. So you can actually loop him because he doesn't have iframes. But uh, the fact that when he's ready to do his attack, his boomerang attack, you can just jump and you can actually dodge it. So that was an okay fight. It, it was a little bit scary in the end because I didn't know where he was going. But with Tafa, actually, this fight is very manageable. With other characters, uh, you need to do, do it a little bit different. But Mustafa's uh, dropkick actually you can just loop the dropkick and uh, get it get it done. So this is stage uh, five. Yeah, stage five is is also a difficult stage. So we're gonna let uh, let this guy uh, wake up the, uh, the dinosaur because actually you get to fight less enemies when when you're dealing with the dinosaur. Okay, we're good. Nice. If you don't wake up the dinosaur, you get a lot of enemies uh, spawning. So I prefer it's a bit riskier, but uh, actually uh, on the on the long run, it's better to not uh, wait uh, to let the dinosaur wake up. <laughs> okay. So enemies' behavior in this game is very interesting in a sense, like a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies actually uh, be, are very, uh, very passive and they become aggro super quickly. So it, in a way it's a very unpredictable. Okay, so we have this uh, Blanca guy here. Or oh, Blanca ripoff. Yeah, you don't want to actually uh, give him space because he's tricky. So we're gonna shoot him just for safety. Here we're gonna use the grenade just to deal with this guy and then get to the safe spot this thing this, this spot is, is relatively safe but you get a lot of uh you get a lot of enemies with the objects that are uh, that come come in and fight you 
So the problem is you you pick up a lot of uh, jank here, <laughs> and I don't want to actually pick up the items, but it's a, it's unfortunate that yeah we have to do it. Okay, it's fine. We got hit, but uh, we gotta get a health refill very soon. Yeah, movement in this game is super important. Yeah, the positioning, uh, the way you move, uh, actually is huge, and they give you the tools actually to use to use your movements uh, optimally, especially if you know how to how to play the game. Yeah, and this move this move is underrated, but it's so good. Yeah, the dive kick, I use it a lot because it, it it's I use it offensively and defensively. Okay, we're gonna deal with this guy. These are the worst enemies, the regular enemies in the game because they're always aggro and they constantly uh, wanna, wanna hit you. Yeah, Meth, Meth is very fun, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he's a bit trickier to learn, but uh, in terms of tier list, I would say yeah, Mustafa and, and uh, Meth are, are definitely the top tier enemies, uh, uh, characters. And uh, Oof, we lost it. Oh my god, no, that's not good. We lost the weapon. Oh, uh, no, actually, we didn't lose the weapon. I, I thought we lost it. Okay, watch out at this guy. Nice, okay. I want to keep this for the boss. But yeah, the other characters are not bad, but like Mustafa and Meth are, are like way ahead of them <laughs> okay this guy we're gonna try to get him off screen and get him here hopefully he gets into the loop yeah you want to keep your distance because he has a, an attack oh that was a good fight because he has the uh if, if he tried to get to him uh, if you're too close to him, he's gonna hit you. He's gonna counter-attack. But if you stay at a, a relatively good distance, he's actually uh, not gonna be able to help you, uh, to, to hit you. Because uh, Mustafa has very good range. And you wanna make sure not to throw him off screen because he teleports where you are. So I'm always trying to keep him... Okay, mm, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna use the weapons. We're gonna cheat a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're good. He's, he's dead. Nice. That was a very good fight. This this guy is very, very... Uh, so since we had a very good uh, first phase, it helped us actually uh, be... Uh, have more health to take more damage because the second phase the trick is that you need to be able to plane shift him and keep him on screen so he always comes where you are and then just throw him to the other side do that uh, back and forth but yeah he is a, a tricky fight but once you know how to do it actually uh you just have to watch out for the boons because the boons are the dangerous part all right, here we have uh, this basic enemy. Yeah, this game has some amazing music. And this is the CPS dash, so uh, it's mostly known for a better sound chip. It's called CPS uh, Q sound. So it has that typical CPS, uh, you know, uh, feel. Okay, so here what we do is okay, we're gonna use the bomb for our friend here. Oh shoot. Okay, we took a little bit more damage than we wanted. Okay, 
Oh uh, yeah. Uh, oh shoot, this guy, man. This guy, I hate this guy because he always tries to outrange you. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Okay, we took a little bit more damage than we wanted, but it's fine. Uh, we can actually manage. We have a health drop coming up. Uh, we gotta abuse a little bit of, uh, of uh, drop kicks. Yeah, try not to abuse it too much because uh, it's a little bit unfair for the enemies. But when I'm in trouble, uh, I definitely uh, abuse it uh, a bit too much sometimes because, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's safer. Okay, so so one one thing about this game, yeah, I'm gonna probably uh, showcase it later. But when you do, uh, when you do actually. Uh, Sorry, I'm just gonna have to deal with this guy first. When you do a, 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 jo a Super Joy or Special, you have one extra second after you finish your Special uh, for uh, Invincibility, which is huge in this game and you get to abuse it a little bit. All right, so we're, we're here. So here it's important to actually not scroll the screen too, too uh, fast. Because uh, if you scroll it too fast, you're gonna miss out on this health. So there is this health uh, drop here, and a pizza. Because if you go too fast, you're actually gonna uh, despawn it. So we got our. Sp yeah, I, uh, I don't remember seeing the, the second. Uh, the second uh, one up, but we got our second one up, so now we have uh, four lives uh, to spare. Okay. So, yeah, this game doesn't have an infinite, but you can actually abuse the. You can abuse the, this. Uh, so, do uh, like a. Okay, this guy, oh my god, yeah, I knew, I knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> you can abuse this turnaround for uh, seven hits before before an enemy actually uh, gets uh, gets knocked down. So after after seven hits, the enemy gets knocked down no matter what. Okay, nice. Yeah, these blockers are very, very tricky. So I'm gonna try not to uh, take damage. So when 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 you so you can mostly hit enemies off screen in this game, but uh, sometimes if they're off screen and they're not hitting you, or you can't hit them, it means that they're trying to outrange you. So it's you better to just go away and uh, and come back and hit them. Okay, on to the stage five boss or stage six boss. So this boss has three forms. I'm gonna try to loop him, but the problem is the goons. Yeah, we can't do this, unfortunately. The goons are a big problem. Okay, so we gotta do this. This is safer, actually. Do the uh, drop kick loop. And he's dead. Oh my god, he's not dead? Okay. Now he's gonna be dead. Okay, the problem with this boss is that it has so many goons. It's uh, it's very very tricky. Okay, so we're gonna try to deal a lot of damage to him just by looping him. So if he stay at a certain range, that was a very very good phase. If he stay at a good, at a good range, you can actually. Uh, kill him very quickly. Okay, we're gonna try to... Uh, no. We're gonna have a lot of enemies now. These are the worst enemies. The bad guys. Okay, it's fine. He's almost dead. He's almost dead.
Okay, that was a good fight. <laughs> Almost lost it over there because like the enemy so the enemies, yeah, the, the duffies and the, the whatever. <laughs> They, they had this uh, one frame or frame one uh, uh, shoulder tackle and they're very unpredictable and the thugs also, the thugs, the little guys, not the short guys they're also very unpredictable so both of them are very tricky to handle but we got through it, so we didn't die until stage 7 stage 7 is the hardest in the game, it has the hardest boss in the game and also it's the hardest stage in the game uh, stages, as I said earlier, once you learn the game, they're not a big problem, but uh, this stage actually is a problem. So we gotta try to take it safely here, without uh, without going to uh, yeah, without uh, without taking too much too many risks. Okay, we have this this uh, guy here, Zeke, but with Mustafa, he actually dies very quickly. He's a very annoying enemy. He only has like small bar of health but he actually homes into you and he tries to stay uh... all right here okay knife guys yeah knife guys are, are a pain oh oops okay well the motorcycle the hitbox are very op <laughs> okay here we get to uh, use the safe spot So when you're here, actually, the enemies don't know how to deal with you. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the our friend here. Yeah, I messed up a little bit because uh, I let them... I, I gave them space. So if you give these guys space, they have this jump attack. That is so, so... Uh, so OP. Okay, get to deal with the duffies and the wrenches and the hammers. All the annoying uh, fat guys. <laughs> very, very uh, annoying. But uh, once we group them here, they're not too bad. Yeah, our health is not where I want it to be, but we should be okay. If you don't take uh, more damage, we should be fine. Okay, here, with this guy, throw the grenade. Kill him with the grenade. Get a little bit of health back. Uh, that, that was that was not good. <laughs> yeah, also, we blocked the knife. Because uh, Mustafa is so good. Yeah, this move is very good, you know, like, it gives you a very good uh, mobility. Yeah, as I said, this I love this game because it gives you a lot of mobility, and if you know how to play it, it's uh, it's very enjoyable. Because you never feel, you feel very powerful once you know how to, uh, you know, avoid the enemies, and, and, you know, your placement is very important. So this is the elevated stage, the mandatory elevated stage in the, in the beat-em-up. It has the best track in the game. Yeah, you don't get to enjoy it for that long, but uh, it's a very good track. Okay, so I did my god, these guys, okay. Okay, we get to get some uh, heal health back. Okay, so if you stay here, if you stay here. Actually, it's safe. It's a safe spot most of the time. Okay, we kind of uh, yeah. I need to kill enemies sooner here. If you don't kill them quickly enough, uh, the elevator moves, and then you get more enemies. Yeah, I love the fact that you can uh, control the where you throw enemies. You can uh, throw them. So during the punch combo, you can throw them either on the side you're facing or on the side you're. Uh, oh my God! What the hell? What was that? <laughs> 
see the, the one frame attack from the fat guys, it's very, very, very annoying. Okay, this is good. Nice. Okay, let's go. All right, this section you get a little bit of. Uh... Okay, we'll have a chance to get to get some life back, hopefully. Yeah, as long as we kill enemies uh, quickly. Yeah, we see if we can get some health back here. That's all good. These guys, these guys, you just want to give them space. Okay, it's fine. We, we, we'll get the health. Uh, we'll get the big heal, heal soon. So we're at the library. We're gonna face uh, three blockers. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, blockers are very uh, annoying because they can they try to outrange you. Okay, we're gonna take the heals. Yeah, very important to get that. Uh, most of the heals are, are, are uh, fixed, but there are some heals that are random. So a lot of, and sometimes the enemies actually throw heals. Uh, especially the, uh, the, the wrenches. And the duffies, they once they kill them, if you get the RNG, you throw actually uh, yeah, heal. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The eight-way uh, run actually is very, very good. Very good. I, I love how you just, yeah, it, it gives you very, very good mobility. Uh, I kind of didn't want to actually uh, do that, but it's fine. I wanted to keep that heal uh, in case you know things go wrong. <laughs> Uh, we, we should be fine. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it for points. Uh, we got a little bit of a damage buff. So in this game, you get a damage buff. Uh, I don't know exactly what you need to do to to get it, but if you, uh, I think if you get hit uh, a lot, you get a you get a like a certain damage buff where you, your character deals a lot of damage. And you only get it for a certain period. If you get hit, you lose that damage buff. Okay, on to the most annoying fight in the game, or the true last boss, Sly Thorst. So, so in true Capcom fashion, uh, they love to double the bosses. So stage four boss wasn't wasn't hard there. Actually, they decided, okay, we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, do two of them, similar to King of Dragons. And uh, yeah, they, they love to duplicate the bosses, especially the hard ones. Okay, as long as you keep them on one side, it's actually very good. Yeah, this is very good. If you keep them on one side... Okay, we're gonna do a special here. Yeah, it's very important to do your special. Uh, I kind of... Uh, I didn't want to use it. Okay, yeah, if you have them on both sides, it's actually not good. Because they can do that. No, oh my god, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. What? what? Yeah, they're very, very annoying, these light swords. Okay, it's fine. Usually in the what credit clear, if you die to them once, uh, it's actually not bad. <laughs> Especially Mustafa. Mustafa, uh, one death actually is, is, is not a bad thing. With other characters, uh... I would say it's expected to die at least twice. Yeah, the fight kind of started very well, but then it it, it, it kind of uh, failed. <laughs> but yeah, slice sword with Mustafa. Usually, it's it's an easier fight, but it's not it's not an easy fight. So you just need to like try to try to manage as much as possible. There is no true stat strat. The strat is basically trying to uh, loop them with a drop kick. If they stay on one side, but 
it's not guaranteed because the because the way they move yeah the way they move is is very unpredictable and on to the uh, to the uh, final stage now so this is the stage eight the final stage in the game Oh my god, no. I, I, uh, okay, messed up. Yeah, I should have, I should have just, uh, special. Because, the uh, yeah. Enemies tend to actually stay very passive and then, and then decide to, to, like, combo you <laughs> instantly. Alright. Our health is not bad, actually. Okay, we're gonna use the drop kick just to uh, not take more damage. All right, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need this actually. Oh my goodness! Okay, I got greedy. I got greedy. <laughs> I wanted to uh, loop him, but I forgot that actually he does that that uh, frame one uh, one frame attack. It's okay. I think the 1cp is not in danger. Uh, as long as as long as we play it uh, relatively safe. Yeah, that that's that one is on me. <laughs> that that uh, that one is on me because I got greedy. But yeah, mostly mostly if you want a 1cc, so this game is relatively. Uh, I would say generous uh, compared to other Capcom games when it comes to extents. So it gives you two extents during the whole playthrough, uh, as opposed to one or sometimes no extents. And uh, yeah, this uh, so it's the one CC with Mustafa is actually not too bad if you know how to uh, how to play like around the bosses, because mostly the biggest problem are the bosses in this game. I'm not sure if you're talking about the game. <laughs> Apologies if I didn't understand. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. Let's go. Oh, technical stuff. Yeah, apologies. <laughs> kind of missed the conversation. Oh my god, yeah. I, uh... Yeah, usually you want to stay here to avoid the uh, knife guys. But it's okay, we have a lot of... Alright, so, so this section is, is very easy. You just take a... Uh, just take your time. You just beat the enemies, uh, you know, slowly. And Mustafa is actually very good. Wow, th th that this one actually is, yeah. This, oh my God, <laughs> this is the most the most OP hitbox in the game. It beats everything actually. Yeah, the rifle guys, they're so, so dangerous. Okay, we kind of took a little bit too much of the damage. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold, so apologies if, uh, if I'm coughing. So this is the last uh, mile. Yeah, I want to kill this guy before proceeding. Alright, so here, get this little slope. So what I will do is that I will uh, get to the... Uh, get all the barrels and then uh, basically, uh, yeah, super joy everything. A little bit of a slowdown. 
and collect uh, all the points. Just for a little bit of a score. Alright. So he... Oh. I forgot about this spawn actually. I thought uh, I was already at the uh, section where uh, the duffies are gonna spawn. Okay, here we gotta get duffies. I wanna keep the uh, the gun actually for for the for the final bosses. All right, so here we get to fight these two enemies. Yeah, this. Okay, I'm gonna try to like just take it safe because my health is not great. We gotta try to stay alive here because uh, <laughs> I don't wanna make this uh, one CC too stressful. Yeah, we, we had a good run, so I don't wanna just throw it down the garbage. <laughs> okay, so we use this. Alright, get to uh, to the final, final uh, part of the game. So we get one Duffy. And then another Duffy coming up. Alright, full heal. Let's go. So if you stay here, actually, you gotta avoid uh, the knife guys that will spawn uh, now. It's a safe spot. Alright, final boss time. So, unlike the other bosses that we met, this boss actually, you all, you get to fight him by himself without the goods. This is the, the re, uh, refight of stage uh, 5 boss, but he's actually without, without any goods, so it's actually easier. So, the, the key is just plane shifting. Yeah. Plane shifting and uh, making sure uh, to actually... Uh, not be too far where he are, where he is. Okay, good. Almost dead. Okay, final boss. So this is the test and then he injected himself with the serum, and now he's becoming this. Awful creature. <laughs> so I'm gonna be abusing uh, this this uh, thing here. Do this. So as I said, when when you do a when you do a, a, a special. You have actually one uh, one second of invince, and this guy actually tends to uh, counter attack. Okay, not today. So I'm doing this just, just to get that one second of invent so that he doesn't counter me. And he's dead. Oh my god, he doesn't want to die. And we get to finish him with the special. And that's uh, one CC Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Yeah, very good game, very good game. Except maybe the Slicer fight, which can be annoying for uh, newcomers. And uh, but overall, it's a it's a very uh, well designed game of uh, and uh, like the characters are very good. They all play differently, although they have relatively the same tools, but they play differently. Uh, 
But yeah, it's very fun to actually explore the other characters like Hannah and Jack, for example. Mustafa is, is easy to learn, but I would highly recommend, uh, you know, if you play Mast, for example, or, or Jack or Hannah. They're also fun. There is no bad character in this game. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not an easy game, definitely, uh, to, to once we see, but uh, w once you get a hang of it and how to actually, uh, uh, you know, position yourself and fight the enemies, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. They're definitely uh, harder once we see out there, but but it's not it's not an easy one to see, for sure. <laughs> one of my favorite games as a kid, I, I used to play this in the arcades, and uh, the farthest I went uh, on one credit was uh, stage uh, 5, uh, or stage 6, past, uh, past Morgan. That was actually the, uh, the farthest I've been. But uh, I, I got to experience it in the, uh, when, you know, the, uh, through emulation. Unfortunately, this game never got uh, any ports outside the arcade because of licensing and, and uh, yeah, it has like three licenses, so hard actually to port uh, when you have that many licenses uh, but yeah you get to you get to play it I play I'm playing it on a mister but uh, also you can play it on yeah emulation pretty much uh, so it's a very very good game you love met because his movement doesn't make sense yeah yeah he's so good and his damage is also good the uh, method is a beast he's supposed to be the the the, the uh, I would say the uh, because so this game actually the there is no grappling character. He's supposed to be like the big character, but all the characters actually play like brawler characters, not like like uh, characters that have uh, a lot of uh, let's say grappling moves and stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the, the playthrough of uh, of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Very very good game, and uh, I'm very happy to have participated in this event. Thank you, RGL staff, for having me for putting together this amazing event and uh, yeah hopefully we'll see you next year in the same uh, same event uh, there's also other events coming up so uh, yeah looking forward to watching everyone and uh, yeah uh, thanks everyone for for watching uh, enjoy your marathon i'm gonna hand it over to the rgl staff for closing remarks but yeah uh, amazing amazing arcade games great players i really enjoyed watching and being part of the event so have a good night everyone Take care and uh, have a good week.